Hello, my name's Mike, M0MSN, and today I'd like to talk to you about the TID radio, the TID radio, TDH3, and here it is. It's a little uh, handy talkie, or, or HT, or walkie talkie. It's so small, look at that. Sits in the palm of your hand. So that's really, really, uh, really nice. It's a two and 70 centimeter radio, but boasts eight band receive, including the uh, air bands, which is uh, rather cool. Now you have to pay quite a good premium for that in some of the, uh, the brand makes like Yesu, et cetera. Uh, but this radio will come to you for under 50 pounds. Yeah, under 50 pounds. And on some websites, and under some special offers, I've seen it as low as £30. Now, that's something to talk about. Um, you can program it via Bluetooth or uh, via um, cable using either USB-C or the Kenwood connector. That's the K connector. Um, you can even program this radio to radio wirelessly. What more could you possibly ask for? And of course... If you don't have any of those things or you don't want to do it, you can still do it via the old fashioned way using the keypad on the front of the radio. Brilliant piece of kit. Can't speak highly enough about it, especially for the value for money is unbelievable. Anyway, I'll put it through some tests. You make up your own mind. For me, it's definitely a winner. So we have a look and see what's in the box then. So this is from TID Radio. Um, well, I was sent it in the post couple of days or so ago I've had the no chance to open it until until this morning um, so I'm opening it now let's have a look right first and foremost it is a TDH3 um, which is uh, one of their new um, can only be described I suppose as a budget radio um, we'll see at the moment I quite like it get the usual support card a oh this is the uk so we've got a very similar it's not quite the same weight as a, an apple charger but the same kind of looking thing as an apple charger have the radio ah, with battery attached okay let's have a look just quickly welcome oh okay this one has um the air bands on it by the looks of it Excellent. Okay, we'll have a look at that in a minute. So we've got the radio um, with the battery attached. Let's have a, gosh, I don't know how to get that off. Um, ooh, okay, yep. Easy when you can see. Let's get myself a better, better lighting. Um, so. Two thousand five hundred milliamp. 18.5 watt hour okay cool so in theory then this is a 5 watt radio 18.5 watt hour three hours of transmission or thereabouts so three hours constant transmitting if we need a battery charge um yeah cool i like that it's a die cast aluminium chassis by the looks of it um Yeah, definitely rugged, definitely rugged. To give you some idea what size this is, I mean, look, this is my hand. I'm not particularly big handed, but uh, the radio fits quite easily in the palm. Um, I'll measure it in a minute. We'll have a look at how big it is. Belt clip, USB to USB-C. Ah, right, okay. So a quick look at USB-C charging. I don't know if you can see that. Um, no, it's not a very good picture. USB-C charging. Um, ah, right, USB-C programming and also Kenwood K programmer. Okay, cool. Three buttons on the side, right, okay. Neat little antenna, quite like that. Nice. It's 
so far I must admit I quite like this this is really quite chunky and they still package it with a lanyard I've never seen one in use never ever so you what get rid of the lanyard USB-C charger little docking port thing um, great if you want to do that yeah that's nice and neat very nice and neat I like that a lot uh, oh hang on we got something else in the box very nice so this one's come with a quarter wave whip what's that for yeah it's for two and seventy centimeters so there we go have a quarter wave whip of all the bits and pieces and as you can see we can program this radio via usb or we can program the radio via bluetooth we need to switch to bluetooth on but it can be programmed via bluetooth or you can do it by the, the hand, by the keypad. Channel mode. I'm getting, uh, very soon getting some antennas and things mounted on the bike at the moment. It's just a handheld cut to the, uh, to cut to the rucksack. So, uh, but, uh, in the coming weeks, I am planning on getting antennas and things mounted to the bike. I've just treated myself to a uh, nano VNA um, so I can uh, do some sweeps and things to the antennas to make sure they're operating as they should. And I've time to put two antennas on the bike, so I'm going to be uh, sweeping them to make sure they're not uh, causing problems between each other and things like that. So, over to you. Right, just quickly then. What we have is the, uh, what is it, is an, a tiny SA spectrum analyzer connected up to a 40 decibel um, attenuator through a cable to the, uh, to the top of the TDH3. Uh, um, let me just make sure we're switched on. We are okay on 144. Uh, 975 and we'll just do a quick test for um, harmonic um, and we've marked it with a minus 40 dB gain there so let's press the button just give it time to settle down yeah we're well in we are well in wonderful that's on the lower power setting Okay, this is high power. You ready? Wow, that's clean. It's a lot cleaner than I expected. Very nice indeed. Just zoom out again just to prove that it is this one that's transmitting right let's just change this to wattage and see how much it's putting out so on high power unit what Let's let that settle so on high power is putting out 6.1 watts I'll just quickly go into the power settings low One point five watts on the low power setting. Menu. Oh, 
Oh, it's got two settings, high and low. There we go then. So this is the ASU FT5D. Switched on. I'll just put it to VFO mode 145000. Give it a few moments to settle as well. Well, that is really clean, but there you go. Almost identical. So uh, my hat's off to TID Radio, TID Radio. Uh, brilliant stuff. Absolutely fabulous. Phenomenal.